हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट आवर न्यू चैप्टर फ्रॉम द टेक्स्ट बुक फर्स्ट फ्लाइट इट इज चैप्टर नंबर वन ए लेटर टू गॉड ओके इट रिटर्न बाय जेल फ्रेंड्स लेट अस इंट्रोड्यूस द चैप्टर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इट इज अ स्टोरी ऑफ ए फार्मर हुज नेम इज लैंचो ओके दिस इज द स्टोरी ऑफ अ फार्मर हुज नेम इज लैंचो वी कैन सी लैंचो इज द main character or protagonist of the story the whole story revolves around the character of lancho okay so the character of lancho is very important to understand the story okay now let's find something he lived on the crest of a low hill okay he left he lived with his family on the crest of a low hill one thing is very important he left he Live there only with his family. There, his family is the single family who used to live there. Okay. In the story, we find that there was a huge loss due to the heavy rain. Okay. In the start, everything is very clear and everything is very good. But due to due to heavy rain, he lost his entire crops. Okay, then there is a question: How to live a life? Will they they starve? No. One thing, Lancho, in the character of Lancho, one thing we have to see: He has a firm belief in God. God के ऊपर उसका firm belief था. He has a complete belief in God. So he decided to write a letter to God to ask a help. Okay, in this scenario. in this means uh, in this scenario hard situation he demanded 100 pesos from the god through the letter through the letter now in the story we have to find ki does uh, god help him or deny his help okay you understand the in introduction the story is very simple ek farmer hai lancho jo ki ek हिल पे रहता है अपने फैमिली के साथ वो उसकी फैमिली वहां पे केवल अकेले रहते हैं और वो उसकी जो फैमिली है उसका जो परिवार है वो पूरी तरह से किस पर डिपेंड करता है क्रॉप्स पे डिपेंड करता है लेकिन क्रॉप्स एक हैवी हेल स्टॉम जिसको हम बोलते हैं ओले पड़ना उसके कारण ये मतलब रोइंड हो जाते हैं तो अब ये संकट जो घर पे आ जाती है तो उस समय लंचो जो कि भगवान के ऊपर पूरा विश्वास एक अटूट विश्वास फॉर्म बिलीफ इन गॉड अटूट विश्वास वो अपने भगवान को पत्र लिखता है और उसे पूरा विश्वास है कि भगवान उसकी मदद करेंगे ओके इंट्रोडक्शन क्लियर नाउ वी जस्ट डील विद द स्टोरी दैट इज द आउटलाइन ऑफ द स्टोरी आई हैव रिटर्न हेयर ओके लेट एस फाइन लैंचू इन द स्टार्ट वी फाइन डेट he hope for good harvest we can say he is the strong predictor of the weather by seeing his crops he predicted that ki this year our hop is going to be very good our crop is going to be very good and only one thing is left he expected some of the sour for this crops for his crops he is expecting some of the sour matlab halke bunda badi halki si barish use avashyakta thi uske crops ko acha hone ki but soon soon as he predicted the rain start okay the rain start and lancho become very happy he became very happy ki whatever he expected whatever he expected he got the same jo bhi wo expect kar raha tha wo same use halki bundabadi mein ho rahi thi okay and in this way he asked uh, he asked to do dinner but he is enjoying the sour of the rain wo itna khush tha ki wo bhojan ke paas nahi ja raha tha balki us barish ka aanand le raha tha understood now there was a twist in the story 
यही एक पॉइंट है जहां से कि उसकी प्रेडिक्शन चेंज होती है और स्टोरी में ट्विस्ट आता है स्टोरी में एक मोड़ आता है टर्निंग ऑफ लेंचो होप इन टू डिस्पेयर लेंचो की जो होप है जो आशा है वो निराशा में बदल जाती है हाउ इट हैपन्स वट एवर द रेन इन द शेप ऑफ सॉवर ड्यू टू दैवी विंड ड्यू टू दैवी एंड अनएक्सपेक्टेड विंड मतलब एक बहुत तेज हवा का झोंका आता है और बारिश ओले ओले में बदलने लगते हैं खूब सारे हेल स्टॉम गिरने लगते हैं और जो भी इंटायर कॉप है वो पूरी की पूरी मतलब रात बीतते बीतते वो जाने का नाम नहीं लेती है और इंटायर क्रॉप हैज बीन ड्रेन ड्यू टू दिस हैवी रेन इस हैवी रेन के कारण उसका जो इंटायर क्रॉप है उसकी जो पूरी की पूरी फसल है वह नष्ट हो जाती है एक फार्मर के लिए एक किसान के लिए फसल का नष्ट होना यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड वट अ कैटास्ट्रॉफ वट अ कैटास्ट्रॉफ फॉर यू लेंचोस कैटास्ट्रॉफ एक वर्ड है जो वो पॉइंट होता है जिसमें उसकी फ्रजी स्टार्ट होती है Now, Lancho was very worried. Okay, because Lancho's crops, crops is the medium of his own livelihood. The entire family depends on the crops. Okay, now what to do? What to do? After a lot of thinking, he is thinking what to do in this hard situation. One thing we have. डिस्कस इन द इंट्रोडक्टरी पार्ट इंट्रोडक्शन पार्ट में एक चीज हमने डिस्कस किया था वो क्या था फॉर्म बिलीव इन गॉड गॉड के पास जो गॉड के लिए उसका जो था वो बहुत ही अटूट विश्वास था सो ही डिसाइडेड टू आस्क हेल्प ही डिसाइडेड टू आस्क हेल्प आस्क हेल्प फ्रॉम द गॉड एंड डेट इज वाई ही जस्ट राइट अ लेटर टू गॉड और इसीलिए वो क्या करता है न, गॉड को गॉड के नाम पर एक पत्र लिखता है ठीक है इन दैट पत्र इन दैट लेटर ही आस्क ही आस्क हेल्प ऑफ हंड्रेड पैसो ऑन दैट लेटर ही आस्क बाय गिविंग द इंटायर सिचुएशन वो पूरी सिचुएशन को पता करके कहता है कि मुझे सौ पैसो की आवश्यकता है ये पैसो एक करेंसी है जो कि फॉरेन कंट्री में यूज होते हैं Understood. And he has a firm belief. उसके पास गॉड के पास विश्वास था कि गॉड को जब मेरी सिचुएशन के बारे में पता चलेगा तो वो मेरी मदद जरूर करेंगे ठीक है वो कभी भी इफ एंड आउट उसको कोई संदेह नहीं था गॉड के कि गॉड हेल्प ना करे ओके नो डाउट आफ्टर डेट ही पोस्टेड द लेटर इन टू द लेटर बॉक्स एंड वेन पोस्टमास्टर गॉड द लेटर वट डज ही फाइंड When he see the letter in the name of God, firstly he amused. Naturally, anybody got amused when see a letter written to God. God is a concept, but nobody knows where the God lives. Where the God lives, so he decided to let see in the letter what has been written. When he uh, see the letter, he fell. Means. He felt something to do something good for the farmer. He decided not to vanish the lanchos faith in God. Not to vanish the lanchos faith in God. कि जो लंचो का अटकुत विश्वास है, उसको ये मतलब दिखाए नहीं, ठीक है? For this he just asked the help from his colleagues and himself he. just give a part of his salary anyhow after getting the money he is not able to fulfill the asking amount that is 100 pesos but anyhow he he able to collect 70 pesos he able to collect 70 pesos and he just return to the lancho but what happened lancho gets angry when he got a letter when he got a letter in the text you will find what type of facial what type of facial expression he presents by the facial gesture we can understand he was very very worried he was very very worried okay 
Now one thing more important, all the facial expression was seen by the post office employees. Okay, on the same time, Lancho take one another paper and write a letter again to a call. And what happened this time? This time, he just write, rewrite. In this next letter, he just tell ki I have to get my rest of the money. I have to get rest of my money. Here one thing is very very important. On that letter, he just mistake by understanding the post office employees. He just written very carefully. He thought that God has given the full money, means 100 pesos. But the post office employees has taken his 30 pesos. What if we believe in God? God ke par kitna tut viswas hai. Usne socha ki God to galti kari nahi sakta hai. What is God? In his mind, there is a concept of 100 to 1. Jo galti na kare, wo bhagwan hota hai. Yehi uski sos thi. Yehi lancho ki sos thi. Aur lancho ne kaha ki God to mujhe 100 pesos diya hai. Lekin ye post office ke employees ho hai, wo mera 30 pesa le di. They have taken my 30 pesos, what an irony. What an irony is that ki the person who helped him, the person who helped him, he just blame on the same, okay, same person. When they got letter, they stopped. Because there is one line has written out then about the post office employees, ki they are the bunch of crooks. Ki wo ek dishonest person ka giro hai. So he requested, Lancho requested through his letter not to send money through the post office. Although he is not telling the medium of the another source. Okay, but in this story, if we find that ki if you help someone, sometimes we are mistaken by the in judging the in judging the people. Similarly happened. What happened in this story? We have a Lancho who is a very hard worker. And due to bad prediction, bad weather, he just got his crops ruined. He got his crops destroyed. But he not to blame anyone. And by believing God 100%, he just write a letter. By seeing that letter, post office employees were very amused at the first time but after that they for only this thing ki uh, he, the person has a complete belief in god ki god ke upar uska atut viswas hai to us viswas ko unko kya karna hai todna nahi hai anyhow they collected 70 pesos they tried their best to collect 100 pesos but they are helpless and they just give the 70 pesos to lancho when Lancho received the letter, received the 70 pesos, he, after counting the money, he got angry. He got angry. This anger is clearly visible on the face of Lancho. This was all seen by the postmaster. He decided to write a, uh, write a letter again to the God. And this letter, he just tells the scenario that the, the post office employees has taken my 30 pesos and so I request you to just not through that the uh, through them okay because the post office employees are the dishonest person means they are the bunch of crooks now you have to understand the story what type of thought what type of theme you are getting throughout the story we find that Lancho is the main character Lancho is the main character so one very important question is that the character sketch of lancho current uh, character sketch of lancho okay you just go through the chapter entire chapter line by line and try to find the hard words 
and on the next lecture i will tell you about the complete explanation if you have any doubt you just ask in the comment box in the next video i will discuss about the question answer and in what type of theme and what type of answer you have to give in the chapters okay thank you